everyone, welcome to Recipes from Reno. My name is Shapin. And I'm Nikki. And we are going to teach you how to cook from home and use the razzle dazzle so that you can impress your friends, have very delicious dishes, but have a lot of fun doing it as well. And I will prove that as I get Nikki drunk throughout the show. <laughs> uh, today we are going to do drink? a roasted chicken over risotto with Parmesan and mushroom. And we're going to uh, implement a bunch of different vegetables into it. I think we took a picture earlier so you can see what vegetables they are. We'll name them off, of course. And uh, while we do that, we're just going to have a little bit of fun and... Prep this food. Yeah, let's get it on. <laughs> All right, we got some baby, board, baby portobellos here. Nikki's peeling some carrots. We've also got some white corn that's going to be used. We've got rosemary, shallot, celery and some Parmesan cheese. And other than that, we're gonna make risotto and we're gonna uh, do everything in one pan so it's super, super easy for you guys to do at home. And it's gonna make one of the most savory, delicious dishes that you've ever had. And we're going for very affordable price too. We're going with chicken thighs. Of course, you can use uh, chicken breasts or any part of the chicken you want, but we're going with thighs because we really wanna get a nice, thick, crisp on that uh on that skin I and think the thighs have better flavor yeah you know it, the there are some there are some you know there's some snobs out there <laughs> for sure they're like ah i don't need breast like, All right, man. but that's what we're going with so as we prep everything we're going to get all the vegetables ready and then we're going to start our risotto and the one thing that is going to be the total topper on this, we love pistachios. Mm. Oh. Mm. But if you get the chili roasted ones, they're usually about five bucks. But we're going to crunch them up and that's what we're going to top it off with, with some rosemary. And it's really going to bring that flavor out and give it a little bit of... <clears throat> Every dish mm. needs some crunch. How do you want the shallots cut? All right, just cut off the ends. You want diced? Nope. We can actually roast some, some big chunks so people can eat them roasted with all that butter and and uh, chicken broth inside of it. We're gonna do our carrots about like that. You can see them. You know. You can do them any way you want, um, but I definitely want to make sure that they get soft in there so they're uh, tender to the bite. Nikki. Yes. Do you have any dad jokes? Um, what did the <laughs> buffalo say to his son when he went to college? What did the buffalo say to his son when he went to college? Bye, son. <laughs> That's Sorry. awful. I'm totally going to let you stay in my house for that. <laughs> you so Want to give a shout out to you as we're doing the prep. Remember, you don't have to do the prep as fast as we're doing it. You're cooking from home. But, you know, we got to we gotta get home. on with what we're getting on. This is your home. This is my home. I choose to cook a little bit faster, but I cook a little bit more than a bit of um, one thing I want to tell you is you don't have to go exactly by the ingredients here. There's a lot of people that are total ingredient followers. I'm not one. Literally every recipe has been stolen from somebody and rearranged another way. So do what you're comfortable with. If you like garlic, I'm putting in a clove of garlic and you like garlic, put in two cloves of garlic. No one cares. Or ten. It's yours, yeah. You can do what you want. Ten cloves of garlic. You want to put Tabasco on it? Put your mask on. Okay. I'm saying, hey, we also want to give a shout out to our guy here. We're very new at this. We're trying it out. We're hoping that you're going to like it and we get some followers. Uh, so be sure to tell your friends. We also want to give a shout out to Theo, who's helping us here today. He's doing the filming. He is a young entrepreneur and for hire. We'd like to let you guys know. Does a great job, um, not only with films, but helping with production. We This is our second time doing this. And the first time is probably a lot of it's going to get scrapped or end up uh, in bloopers. But uh, 
the quality of his work is, is fantastic. And we want to oh, the bloopers favorite. are going to be great. <laughs> Nikki was very drunk. <laughs> Speaking of which, there's a shot. Cheers, big ears. Bison. <laughs> you asked. So, how do you want these? So, these. You go right down the middle. Mm-hmm. There you go, there you go. How we get this white stuff off? You know, because, or not, whatever. I'm snobby. Okay. <laughs> and then, same as you do, for example, with a chicken noodle soup. Gotcha. We wanted to get soft so that they're part of the bite and doesn't, you know, obscure or whatever. And you can throw those right in with the um, carrots that I've got here. All right. Okay, then actually you're gonna do the corn. Okay. I'm gonna do some more shallots over here because shallot. We're gonna cook the shallots with the bacon. Ooh. Yeah, and we're gonna get them so they're roasted, and we're gonna do big chunks of shallot actually. Mm. So. I love shallot. Yeah. It's like the onion and the garlic had a baby. Yeah. yeah. Exactly right. This here. This is about what you want to look for on the shallot. Because we're not roasting ahead of time, we want to get them roasted in the pan. So these are the, what are going to cook the longest. We'll do bacon, we'll get some grease going with that. We're only going to do a little bit of bacon. And the reason being is that we want more of the flavor from the grease to cook everything in uh, than big chunks. We don't want to end up with a big, uh, a big what? With, with a, big, a, a big water thing of a big bowl of, Bacon grease. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that, baby. Tell us about your bacon grease at your house. I have four mason jars of bacon grease. But I, even if I cook one piece of bacon, I will save the grease. I feel like it's throwing away so the heavy most on the, heavy on the hog. The most <laughs> precious commodity that we we have. <laughs> you know, that's like, American. Why would you throw that away? That is just that's like. Like flushing a million dollars down the toilet. <laughs> million flavors <laughs> we've been wasted right here today. I would never throw away bacon grease ever. Do you freeze it? Um, no, I just keep it in mason jars in the back of the fridge. You know. When are you gonna as use long it? As a, I use it all the time. I, I know, but when? I explain. Uh, anytime I, I mean, saute. People are watching us. Anytime I saute any vegetables, I pull out the bacon grease. Um. When I'm starting a soup, you know. So you're basically just what we're doing here. Like anything you would use oil for, you just use bacon grease. It's the most American thing I've ever heard. Spread it on <laughs> toast, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Sourdough with bacon. <laughs> Sourdough with bacon grease sounds amazing. I'm, uh, I'm about it. I'm gonna do this last one because it's sitting there. Let me get it done real quick. There we go. And the, uh, you're gonna wash those, get the uh, get the soap off, and I then I think I know that. how to to oh, okay. take care of okay. the corn. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so there's this thing that happens, and if there's any cooks or chefs that are watching right now, it's it's totally ridiculous. When you're cooking in a kitchen, they call it an order. I need four lambs. I need two steaks. I need a risotto, and I need a I need a hand on the fly. And so, the new trend is, like you used to call it back, but the new trend is, you go, heard! <laughs> so the expediter or the chef that's calling out the order knows that you got the order. So if I say, hey, Nikki, I need you to cut the corn off the cob. You heard. say, yes, yeah, so, <laughs> heard. So stupid. <laughs> I hate it. I'm literally, if you can't make fun of yourself, and you can't make fun of cooking, because, I mean, <laughs> there are some kooks. <laughs> there is some kooks. There are some kooks. All right, since this is a cooking from home show, we like to get Nikki drunk. I don't drink, because I'm absolutely horrible at it, but she seems to be pretty good at it. 
And we want you to feel comfortable while you're watching the show because we're guessing you're probably sipping on a beer, a cocktail, some wine, or like we're doing here, some shots. There's going to be a mystery hand in the future when we get some um, local Reno bands and artists Seriously? on the show. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. Do you see that? Yeah, here you that go. That is two here fingers, you go. sir. Here you go, mm -hmm. mystery hand. <laughs> <laughs> Me, I'm going to have my view. Cheers. Cheers to people at home. Eye contact. Eye contact. Eye contact. <laughs> and that's the way for a lot of people cooking is a lot better. All right. Back on it. Nikki's going to show us how you take corn off a cob. How do you take shots of vodka? Oh, God. <laughs> I think we're going to give Nikki a minute off. Oh, a little without the knife. Oh. Who sh take shots of vodka? Russians. <laughs> the people that like to drink. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Russians That's and people that like to drink. That is gnarly. All right, we went with white corn on this, and the reason we went with white corn is because it was four for a dollar at uh, Rayleigh's, and Rayleigh's is usually pretty expensive, but not today on corn. You want to finish this? Your Rayleigh's is. Yeah. Fancy. Fancy. We have a fancy, fancy. Rayleigh's here. <laughs> real fancy. It's real fancy. <laughs> Though I did have an incident there earlier today, which was... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not putting that in the video. <laughs> I checked down my Instagram. There was like a couple of people that were like, Story should be taking pictures of people in the bathroom. Look, if you get naked in public, yeah. you are... If you pull down your pants you and then pull up your shirt and you're like over 50 years old and then start peeing. That in public? Yeah, in, in a public place. And I walked in on it. You are asking for it. And I was like, you're hey man, you're it. doing it wrong. <laughs> it's not how you urinate, sir. <laughs> My God. All right, watching out the thing. We got our corn, we got our corn, we got our corn, we got our corn. And, Nikki, yes. here's, the, here's the funnest part of this. Okay. And this is what you can do with, with your friend if you're cooking with somebody. Make the risotto. Okay. But instead of the, uh, of all water, mm -hmm. do half wine, half, half water. Half wine and half water. Yep. Okay. Then you can make it right here in this. Okay. We're going to put you on this one. So you get going with that. I'm going to chop up some apple and some bacon, and I'm okay. going to get going with our, We're doing with our dish wine here. Wine so let's get some apple out of here. I did that because I saw a little brown spot. But we're all good now. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Corn be gone. What kind of fancy uh, olive oil do you want me to... Uh, if you could use, I have some, uh, I love this company. I want to support a local company, Bighorn Olive Oil Company. These guys have the best olive oils and the best balsamic vinegars I've ever encountered. And I've been a lot of places um, and they are absolutely cool people too. So uh, the risotto is going to be a little bit fancy. We're going to use blood orange from Bighorn Olive Oil. And we're going to use half wine, half water, and we're going to get a better flavor. Mine over there. Oh, that pesky corn, that white pesky corn. So, I did a dinner party the other night, and it was very good, and I did spaghetti two ways, and I made some meatballs, and I used half Italian sausage, and I used half uh, buffalo, funny enough, I did, I did buffalo. Bison. Yeah, bison. <laughs> and uh, I put some fresh thyme in it, I put some uh, uh, very small shallot and garlic in with it, some Italian breadcrumb, and they might have been... Uh, some of the best that I've ever had. So, just something to talk about while we're doing that. Now we're gonna go on to bacon and get things rolling. All right, 
So, wait. All right, we're putting the corn in back because corn's the last thing that's gonna go in. First things that are gonna go in though are the shallot and the bacon. So, I literally only have three pieces of center cut bacon here. Ooh, I gotta sharpen my knife, it looks like. There we go, there we go, there we go. Nikki, how's that risotto? Are you gonna be able to pull that off? I'm trying. <laughs> I'm working it. I've read the recipe instructions like 12 times, but I will get it. We will get some footage, you guys. Nikki used to be in a band called the Saddle Tramps, one of the best bands to ever come out of Reno, and they were actually a national act. And, um, she did all the dancing and backup singing, and I swear to God, her stage presence is so much better with them than here. Oh my God. <laughs> but yeah, if you I get a chance, never go on Spotify, so go on better. Facebook, any of the outlets, you guys will know them all. Um, and check out the Saddle Tramps. It is some of the funnest, most awesome music ever. And I gotta give a shout out to Big John Vinoli, who will be on the show eventually. Uh, Scotty Willer, Mike Young, and Lil John. Lil John. Lil John Perry. <laughs> you guys think we'd get Scotty on here? <laughs> we got a flying from Austin. Nah, he can support it. He can come. He can fly up here himself. <laughs> All right. So before we get anything, we get our pan hot. So I've got it on high. I've got it on my biggest burner. Most people cooking at home probably have a stove like this. Three burners that go good and one burner that goes hard. I've got my oven preheated to 425. At 420. <laughs> it's 420. I got you this hemp bracelet. You can put it on your ankle. I smoke a lot of pot. I do that. Oh. <laughs> 425 doesn't matter to you. No, it <laughs> You're like 360? 625? 180? <laughs> All right, so while this gets going, what the biggest thing we want out of here, of course, is to get the grease. Those little pieces of bacon that are going to cook so much, they're just going to become part of, the, of what's happening here. But what we really want is the get the grease from this so that when we cook the uh, chicken and we do the shallots, it's going to have that also good flavor like the back of your fridge. Yeah. Yeah. See, like anything. Like if you... you know what I mean by the back of the fridge. <laughs> anything you can yeah. grease. Great. That's great. what I mean, really. You get my pasta. All right. Did you even do a shot? You didn't even do a shot. I poured some... You complained this. about a bunch of no, stuff? No, I just poured some... I'm trying I'm to enable you. So I'm they, trying to make you a better person. So that it didn't, wasn't so harsh and crazy to me. All right, we don't need olive oil. We don't need butter. We have a little song that we sing around here. It goes red and yellow, purple, purple and green, green, salt and pepper on everything. everything. All right. Why do we do that? Because unseasoned food sucks. <laughs> And I would like to do a shout out to Accent right now, which is pure MSB. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Makes everything taste better. Yeah. <laughs> when I drink MSG. <laughs> <laughs> I bought CLA, a big bottle of Accent. For just a little I love you gift. <laughs> There's no better way to tell somebody that you love them than trying to get them to use something that's going to kill them. Yeah. It's not going to kill you. It's really uh, not. There's right. nothing. I mean, there's nothing wrong with MSG. Yeah. I'm sorry. There's I, not. Hey. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> I love me some MSG, just saying. Okay. I have not put MSG on anything ever in my entire life, so I don't know what these guys are talking about. <laughs> I know I'm probably at a machine, but I don't go out. If you've ever had yeah. anything at a Chinese restaurant, bro. Well, no, a lot of them don't use it. No, it's called Accent. I, I know you've seen it at the grocery store. It's, it's actually MSG. With two C's? Yes. 
accent. That's how I spelled it. All right. What do you hear? We got the bacon cooking. We're getting some grease in there. And not too much, you know, just enough. And we're going to put that back on. We're going to get heated back up. And then, when Nikki ever finishes the risotto. I was browning my rice. Hey, good brown. You have a nice browning. We're going to put the chicken and the shallots in next. So, so far, real easy. You cut up some bacon. You get some grease in there. And then we're going to put skin side down. All right, everyone, skin side down. Do you want me to use the packet that came with it, or do you want me to just... Yeah, just go, okay. go with that, and then we're actually going to add some mushrooms to it uh, once it gets boiling. Right. So we're going to season the other side of this as soon as I wash my hands. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. The smell in here is just extraordinary. Mm. Chicken crisping and bacon cooking and wine steaming. You can't beat it. And we're going to go back to our song again. Why? Because we don't like unseasoned food. We're going to season both sides of this. And we're literally going to leave it. We're just going to let it go for a little bit. So as that cooks, we'll be right back. All right, so the chicken has been cooking for about two minutes. We're gonna let it go until at least five, maybe seven, about two minutes in. Now I'm putting the shallots in. I'm pouring them right over on top. We're getting all that in there. And then we were talking about garlic earlier and I was like, I think maybe we might need a little bit of garlic. So Nikki's gonna have some, Oh, wow, wow, <laughs> that was intense. I don't think we need that much garlic, but we are going to take these big top chops right here. Smash it, smash it, smash it. Get the skin off. Get the skin off. Nikki, if you would do me a favor and... Um, Wipe our boards. I think that just kind of cleaned up a little bit. I kind of give it a big smash here. Can I see that plate, please? Yeah, we got it. And if you could grab a thing and wipe it. And I'm going to chop this garlic and we're going to be back on it. We're going to get rid of this damn corn, too. We're cooking at home, right? This is how it is when you cook at home. You're like, I got corn in between my. Ah, oh, damn it. Kid walked in. Ah, oh, Jesus. Dog keeps barking. And since. We're going to be raw, wine, and all that kind of hey. stuff. I'm, well, hey. Come on over here. All right, I'll trade Look it. at, look at how. All right, see what you got. Uh, whoa. Really? <laughs> really? I don't think that's going to be on there. Really? I think it is, sir. Yeah. Why are you barfing? <laughs> I prefer fresh garlic from a clove, um, but you of course can use any, any kind of garlic you want. We're going to throw that in there too. Did you need some more of this? No, we're, we're rolling right now. Let's give a little peek see, see where we're at. Hi. Nope, not there yet. Oh, but it's cooking and baking. It's not good zap. We've got Junior Chef here. We're going to bring her over and introduce you to her. This is my kiddo. This is Josie. She knows all about the mac and cheeses, all about the hot dogs, and all about the spaghettis. Am I right? Yeah. And she just turned 11, and for her birthday, we got her a chef coat so she can do and appearances on here. And, and a chef hat. Yeah, this is actually a chef for a hat. Look at that. 
Fantastic. Fantastic. All right, you want to do me a favor? Let's roll up your sleeves here. Okay. You're welcome. And we're going to have you put the apples in there, okay? Thank you. All right. I think I might need you to do the mushrooms for me, too. Yep. So, yeah. All right, Joe's. Why don't you grab the apples? That's all right, as much as you can. Drop them in? Yep, drop them right in the pan. Grab the rest of them. There we go. And that's going to get some of that delicious apple juice into it as well and just make the little bites of goodness and make the bacon. And if you would, would you put the mushrooms into the risotto? I need a fishing hook risotto. I named a fish, fishing hook risotto. All right. Oops. Well, that's why Dad's here. Good job, kiddo. There we go. Yeah, I found it. Now, fishing. there's one thing that I got to ask you, Nikki. Yes. Has this risotto heard the song? The song? The song. I, it has heard the song. It has yes. heard the song. Yes. There I is. did add there. salt and pepper, sir. Red Thank and yellow so and purple much. and green. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's just going to cook itself. We're going to do a little bit of uh, moving it around now and then, but other than that, it's going to be all good to go. And we're going to get the big mushrooms in the end of the risotto. They're actually going to fall off out into the broth that we're cooking right now. So that's going to be fantastic. Now, before, and this is your choice whether or not to do it, I'm doing it because of the apples. I'm going to do wine before broth. Nikki brought some over. Where's my drink? Yeah, where's my drink? The risotto that I named is a fishing cup, and it is my friend, and I found it down at the cup. You got rights, kid. All right, you see, I just put a little bit in because we just kind of wanted to glaze the pan uh, from the bacon and the shallots that are in there and start getting some steam and moistening it. And then we're going to flip it over and look at that nice sear right there. See how it's how brown and delicious. When you take a bite of it, you're gonna get a really, really good bite of that. And you can see that everything's starting to cook itself. It's getting softer. We've got some great things in there. So now we're gonna add the rest. Carrots, celery. We've got some chicken broth. I'm gonna add that as well. And we're gonna go a little bit heavy on this. Probably about a half to three quarters of a cup. And that's so it's in the oven and it's cooking. Um, it's actually kind of gonna be doing a soup, but at the end we're gonna add butter and we're gonna actually make it a sauce. So let's let you get a beautiful picture of that. You've got the bacon and the, and the sear on top. You can feel it, it's crispy. When do you throw the rosemary in? We're going to do the rosemary at the end. We're actually going to chop that up with the pistachios. Mm. Rosemary is such a strong herb that if we cooked it too hard, it would be uh, overbearing. So It's kind of a garnish. Garnish with flavor. A usable garnish. <laughs> tap Tap Presents. Tap Tap Presents. That's how you do it. How you do it. So you do it. Ready? Get your hand. Tap Tap Present. <laughs> yeah. There you go. All right, Joe, you get ready for your sleepover, and we're going to finish cooking over here. Okay. Goodbye. Thank Hello, you. world. Dab. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to let that go in the oven. We're going to let the risotto go. We're going to come back to you. We're actually probably going to take a little break here, and then we'll come right back, and we'll get it out, and we'll finish it up. Throw that corn in there. The corn is the last thing we're going to throw in. All right. Let's get close. All right, it's been about 10 minutes so far, and we're getting ready to finalize on there. So one thing we're going to do, we're going to take some of these pistachios. We're going to put them in a bag. 
We got four, so let's add a little bit more. Everybody loves the taste of pistachio. Add some of that. Nikki, I'm gonna hand you the Parmesan if you can yeah. stir some of that in. Huh? It's probably got about five more minutes, yeah. but that's really gonna thicken it up and give it some uh, some more flavor and some more consistency. So what I'm doing with this, literally just like the garlic, but a little bit more. Just doing a rough. Just want to get it chunky. You don't want to grind it. Just get a little bit chunky. But it's really going to give the flavor, and it's really going to do well with that crispy skin on top. So I've got it like that. That easy. Going to take some rosemary. Do a quick chop with that. Now, of course, if you're lazy, and you've been drinking, and you don't want to choppy chop chop chop, you can throw it at a Cuisinart. Just do a rough chop before you do it. There we go. We're not going super fine, but we want to get the big chunks out. And we got the rosemary. All right. Here we go. We'll throw it in there. We'll do a little mix with it. Boom, boom, boom. Clean up our board real quick with it. And as you can tell, we're doing this for a home cooking show. So if this was like professional, we would do all the chops and have everything done it. But I want you to know that it's at home. It's your kitchen. It's your meal. You don't have to follow the recipe and you certainly don't need to be all professional, but you're still gonna get those flavors without doing all the super professional work. You know what I'm saying, Nikki? How's that risotto? Hurt! <laughs> All right, so we're pulling this out real quick. Nikki, let me come around you. And she's, of course, putting some seasoning on there. How good does that look, right? Ooh. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be incredible. So, I'm gonna take half of what I got here. And I'm gonna sprinkle it in, sprinkle it on. We're going to use the other half for the garnish at the end. So, when does the corn come in? The corn's coming in right now. Thanks for asking. <laughs> we're going to add a little bit of corn in there because that cooks so quick. And then we're going to add butter. We're going to take these out. Would you hand me a plate from over there, please, Nikki? You got it. We're going to take these out, and they should be real close to fall off the bone. Oh man, do they look good. They do look good. All right. Like that. Like that. We're going to put these aside. I'm going to stir this all in and turn on the heat. And let that cook and we're going to add some butter to it and that's going to reduce out the butter is going to firm it up and it's going to be delicious delicious once it gets boiling a little bit to go make sure that corn's there veggies little pieces of bacon the broth and the wine the seasoning the nuts the rosemary Tell you right now, humbo. It's gonna be good. Heard. It's gonna be. Yeah, heard. <laughs> I heard. And add some butter. I'm gonna keep it on high heat for a little bit. We're just gonna incorporate that in. And once it's all in there, oh man, are we gonna have a, a great sauce? How's that risotto doing? I think we're just about done on it. Let it go. Oh man, then we're gonna grab some bowls and we're gonna plate. We'll see you right back here in a second. All right, so I've got this on high. I'm stirring it to make sure it doesn't break. We've got all those flavors in there. I'm gonna turn it down to low and then we're gonna focus on plating. 
and I'm going to teach you a real quick way to plate, make it super easy, super fun, and make you look like a rock star as well, if I can find a cup. All right, so I've got an ordinary cup here. I'm going to take my risotto, I'm going to bring it over, and this is really how you're going to do it. They're in bowls, so you're going to take your risotto, fill up a cup, look at all that Parmesan and mushroom goodness in there. See, you can take any box thing and really doctor it up. All right, so there we go like that. Boom, right there in the center, and we're going to place a thigh on that. Just like that. Let's move this out of the way so you can watch. Put these right here. And then I've got my sauce. And we're just going to go around and make sure you get some liquid in there. And any season, this is a good dish. It doesn't matter. It's got the vegetables, it's got the broth, it's got the flavor, it's got the fruit, it's got the wine. You just can't do any better than that as far as making it that simple. And then, just for show, take a little bit of that, put it on top. Part of the rosemary sprig, which I'm sure you've seen a million times in a million different restaurants on a million different dishes. Dip it right down in there so it's easy to pull out, but still presentable. And there you go. There's your dish. And we're gonna let Nikki dig in and give it a try. Here you go, it's gonna fall right off the bone. And so we're just gonna give you a fork. All right. And let you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Give me some of that. Right, I have to get it. There we go, oh. Mm -hmm. Just like that? Just like that. Oh, wait, now I'm sure. Yeah, you can flip that. Mmm. That's why I come here. <laughs> <laughs> for the food. That's, mm. that's why you should come here too for the food. Alright, I'm going to finish cleaning up these other ones. Want to give a shout out to Bighorn Olive Oil Company. Of course, want to give a shout out to all of our friends, family. Hoping that you are having fun cooking at home tonight. Hoping you get a bad dad joke. Also hoping that you are as happy as Nikki is it eating wasn't this that dish. Bad. <laughs> it's never that bad. And of course Theo for filming us tonight. Thanks a lot. This is Reno Recipes.